isomorphism. So the concept of path is used to show that two graphs are not isomorphic. So let's take a look how the path concept is useful to illustrate that the two graphs are not isomorphic. So the basic idea behind it is we will find a simple circuit of particular length that exists in a one graph but does not exist in a second graph. So if you get such type of a case then we can clearly say that the graph G is not isomorphic to the second graph H. So in case of isomorphism the very first step we will check the number of vertices. So the number of vertices in a graph G is 6 and in graph H is 6. Next is a number of edges. So in a graph G there are 8 edges and same in a graph H there are 8 edges. Now find the degree sequence. For the degree sequence we will evaluate the degree of each vertex. After evaluating the degrees we will write the degree sequence. Take the highest degree of the vertex in this case. So there are 4 vertices of degree 4 and 2 vertices of degree 2. So this is the degree sequence for this graph. Degree sequence of the graph HS. There are again 4 vertices of 4 degree and 2 vertices of the 2 degree. So degree sequence for both the graphs are same. So it may be possible there exists one to one mapping between the vertices of a graph G and H. So but before building the mapping let's take a look on these graphs. So you can observe that in a graph H a simple circuit of length 3 exists. Whereas in a graph G no simple circuit of length 3 is there. So simple circuit means we need to find a path in which there is a no repetition of the edges and the end points are seen. So this can be done by the inspection. So with this idea you can clearly say that G graph is not isomorphic to H because in H there exist a two simple circuit of length 3 named as P, R, Q, P. This is the first simple circuit of a length 3 and the second is S, T, U, S. This is the second simple circuit of the length 3. But in graph G, there does not exist any simple circuit whose length is 3. So due to this reason, the graph G is not isomorphic to H. So in simple words, if we say that the two graphs are isomorphic, it means whatever the property of the graph first has, the same property graph H has. And if it has a simple circuit of a length 4, definitely there must be a simple circuit of a length 4. And if there exists a 2 simple circuit of a length 4, there must be a 2 simple circuit of a length 4 in a second graph if they are isomorphic. If any one of the property is not same or we can say that we are not getting a something from the graph G but we are having in a graph H, then clearly both the graphs are not isomorphic. A same concept you can apply over here. So we need to check whether the graph G and H are isomorphic or not. First we will count the number of vertices, edges and the degree sequence. You can verify that in this case graph G has the same count of vertices as H. Number of edges in a, both the graphs are same. Even their degree sequence is also same. So let's try to identify with the help of path whether the graphs are isomorphic or not. So first we will find the simple circuit of a length 3. Does a graph G has any simple circuit of a length 3? Yes, the graph G has two simple circuit of length 3. And same for the graph H, there exists a two simple circuit of a length 3. Now does there exist any simple circuit of length 4? And make sure their count must be the same in both the graphs if they are isomorphic. Yes, there exists a simple circuit of a length 4. Even there is two simple circuit of a length 4 in a graph G. So one is this one G to H, H to D, D to E, E to G. And second is A to C, C to D, D to H and H to E. Even in a graph H, there exists a two simple circuit of a length 4. So it means till now the simple circuit of a length 3 in both the graphs exist and the count is also same and the simple circuit of a length 4 is also exist in both the graphs as well as their count is same. Let's try to find a simple circuit of a length 5. 
सो इन ग्राफ जी देयर आर टू सिंपल सर्किट ऑफ अ लेंथ फाइव सो स्टार्ट फ्रॉम अ वर्टेक्स एफ टू बी बी टू ए ए टू एच एच टू जी जी टू एफ देयर आर फाइव एजेस सो इट मीन्स इट्स लेंथ एज फाइव even there exists a second simple circuit of a length 5 that is from f to e e to d d to c c to b b to f now where is a simple circuit of a length 5 in a graph h can you find that so if you try that so in this case this is a simple circuit of a length 4 we have already evaluated that even the in the bottom phase it is a simple circuit of a length 4 This is a simple circuit of a length three. Now check it the back phase of this diagram. Whether it is a simple circuit of a length five means from S to T, T to M, M to N, N to O, O to P, P to S. So count the number of edges in this case. So total number of edges in this circuit is a six. So this is not a simple circuit of a length five, but we need a simple circuit of length five to show that the graphs may be isomorphic. Let's try with the another way. Maybe T to M, M to O, O to P, P to Q, Q to R, R to T. Whether this is a circuit of a length five. So how many edges in this case? One, two, three, four, five, six. So six edges in this case means it is a simple circuit of a length six. But we need a simple circuit of a length five. So in a graph G, there exists a two simple circuits of a length five, whereas in a graph H, there does not exist any simple circuit whose length is five. So with this, we can say that G is not isomorphic to H. So reason is in a graph G, there exists a two simple circuits of a length five, name B to F, F to G, G to H, H to A, A to B. And the second is B to F, F to E, E to D, D to C, C to B. But in a graph H, there has no simple circuit of a length five. Due to this, the graph G is not isomorphic to H, and that is the answer for this question.